Hi, it's July 17th, and this is your Saturday preview of your Sunday sermon. You may wonder why in the world is she doing this on a bike in the dark? Well, in order to find out the answer to that, you're going to have to watch or come to church and hear the sermon on Sunday because it's related to what you're seeing here except for the computer. We're at the very end of the first letter of John. In fact, the scripture for Sunday is called the epilogue to this letter. So here are the words from 1 John chapter 3, verses 13 through 15. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. And this is the boldness that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the request made of him. The joy. We know we have obtained the request made of him. The joy that I was about to speak about is what I think John wants us to have. The apostle knows that the joy that comes from having real security, real knowledge that you are cared for, that even when things seem darkest, and you seem the most lost, you always have someone you can call on. God always is listening. God hears us when we call. And if we are in that God and person, God and God's church, that Christian relationship, then we know that we're going to have what we need, what we ask, because that's God's will for us, to have life and that to the full, for the best possible outcome, for God's will. When we ask in accordance with God's will, in connection with God, who is in us, within us, and among us, we don't have to worry. We can rest secure it's going to be good. It's going to be okay. Even when it seems dark. So, hope to see you on Sunday. Have a good day.